everybody, we're back with Katie Couric, the author of Going There, and Lord Does She. Katie, one area you talk about in this book is your 2016 interview with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. And that caused uh, a bit of attention at the time because you asked her about Colin Kaepernick and right. kneeling before the flag, and she had some um, unsupportive or unflattering things to say about that choice that he made. Very un unflattering, um, surprisingly unflattering. Uh, and she said it was dumb and disrespectful stupid and arrogant she wouldn't necessarily he wouldn't be locked up for it because it's his right like flag burning is his right but she was highly highly critical and the reason i included that i chose to include that and in she the apologized book. for that well yeah what happened was somebody from her office called and said she really hadn't been following the story that carefully and she misspoke and i was like did she not understand it does she not really understand what colin kaepernick was doing and, you know, honestly, the human side of me was like, she's older, is she, is she confused about it? But then I realized I had to share her views. But there was one statement that I thought, I didn't quite understand what she meant. I didn't ask a follow-up question saying, can you clarify that? And I ended up not using it. And obviously, it bothered me enough that mm. I wanted to include that in the book. The what fact did she that say? She said something about he's more fortunate. Uh, he he should realize how fortunate, or his parents should realize how fortunate they are, uh, versus the countries they came from, and that's why education is so important. And even looking at it today, I've talked to a lot of my smart friends who are journalists, and they say it's 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 not exactly clear what she was saying. So what I regret is that I didn't ask a follow-up question, and ultimately that I didn't include it, even after you know they said she misspoke, she doesn't really understand the intent mm -hmm. of this action or the purpose of it. And, and I said, I still question that choice. I think what I was trying to say is we all make judgment calls. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're right, sometimes they're wrong, sometimes our own human emotion gets involved in it. Um, and that's why I included it. And I think it's really interesting because I think the way to restore faith in the media is that we should be willing to say we made a mistake. Um, you know, NBC should be able to say we shouldn't have sat on the Access Hollywood tape. So the Washington Post had to, to uh, publicize that story. Mm -hmm. Or CBS should say, we shouldn't make women sign NDAs and push talented women out of the business while sexual harassers are allowed to stay and thrive. You know? I, uh, well, since uh, you're there. Wait. Since you. Wait, I got one more, baby. And CNN should be able to say we shouldn't allow Chris Cuomo to yuck it up with his brother, the governor of New York, with a giant Q-tip in the middle of the pandemic because it's good TV. They should say, we made a bad decision. That was wrong. And I think it's really important for people to acknowledge when they probably have erred the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to take another break. But when we come back, I will ask Katie about her years as the anchor of the CBS Evening News. Join us, won't you?